Hey everyone, it's Eric again, back on the shitty mic. In fact, this mic is getting kind of familiar in its shittiness. It's like a warm, fuzzy shitty. Warm, fuzzy, like a Yeti. The name of the manufacturer of this mic. Anyway, hey, welcome to the show. Uh, Our cocktail is the Sidewalker, which you haven't heard of, but you will. And most importantly, in light of President Donnie's recent announcement of banning transgenders in the military for no reason, uh, our guest is Adrian Roberts, one of the first trans people to officially register their gender as non-binary. So, hey, Adrian's kind of a maverick, like John McCain, but, you know without the health problems? Sorry, Senator. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Live from the Turf Club at the San Anita Racetrack, it's the Army of Drunks talking funny radio podcast with your and Mixmaster Third. Tonight's special guest, Adrian Roberts. Let's get ready to mumble. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Army of Drunks. Hey, everybody. Um, Hello, friends. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to play one of the old jingles because I didn't get a new Fiverr one yet. Yeah, all right. Now it's all about the Army of Drunks. Season three. We are just getting started. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's the shitty one again. It was just getting loaded is yeah. what I said, but I did pay $5 for that. So I... Did you pay... Did you... Now, we've had this conversation in the yeah. last one. The, like, you sent him the right copy. Did oh, you send yeah. him the wrong copy? No, I sent him the right copy. This is the same one from last time. Yeah, this is the okay. same one from last time. But hey, uh, welcome to the Army of Drunks. Uh, our, I am uh, one of your hosts, Eric, also known as Shaft, for Hi, reasons Eric. too complicated to get into. Matt Shaw is here. Say hello, Matt Shaw. Good. Hello. Uh, Buck, Buck hey. may or may not be here. Hey. Mixmaster Therm is here. There he is. Good also present the tiny audience. Say hello, tiny audience. Hello. Yep. <laughs> the one man so, audience. He's doing. so tiny. He's yeah. like he's like a little tiny Well, the tiny thing is, Tim. he's not. But <laughs> for a lot of people, he would be small. For one person, he's exceptionally large. He's exceptionally large. You can't <laughs> fit him in a shoebox, which we like to think our tiny audience is a bunch of little gnomes. And our very special the, guest. Remember when you were a kid yeah. and you thought that there was a tiny orchestra in the radio? Uh, you know, I, had I grown up during um, the Depression, <laughs> the I might have. Yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> why did you get the orchestra no, on I the swear, radio? I used mom? to always think that the, the, really? uh, there was like a little band in the radio. Oh, I don't know why I just I, like till ninth grade. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I just assumed. I'm like, just kidding. I, I knew year. about the ninth grade. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> with us is Adrian Roberts. Say hello, Adrian. Hello. And, Thanks for having uh, me. Also known as Adrian A. It's your DJ name, Adrian. Uh, it's my DJ name, performer name, my. YouTube personality name. I don't know. It's My just, YouTube it's, uh, name. Right? It's, <laughs> YouTube you're, you're too old for a YouTube uh, name. No, I don't think so. You're never too old. <laughs> what's, what's your gamer tag? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> what are we drinking sure. here? We are drinking here the Sidewinder, the Sidewinder. cocktail. Sidewalker. Sidewalker. Shit. I wanted Sidewalker. 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 Oh, okay. okay. It's a beer cocktail. It's a beer yeah. cocktail. By the way, um, Sorry. we should say uh, uh, w- w- why Adrian's mm. here. Uh, it's just because. Um, oh, yeah. Are you? You were. I. I see, kept saying officially, but <laughs> non-gender binary. Um, legally, legally non- non-gender binary. binary. Uh, I am apparently only the fourteenth person in the United States to legally change their gender to non-binary. Mm. Okay. Um. I. I didn't know which number I was. I just knew I was one Do of they, the first. And, is that a uh, federal or a state level thing? It is currently a state thing. In your face, every other state? Well, Oregon did it first, actually. Oh, did they? Yeah, they, 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 they beat How us to it. How did we not get that? I know, right? The we're, fuck uh, is we're, wrong with that? We're, seems like the type yeah. of thing California, we could have gotten You would that think first. so. I mean, we, we, we're always we, second. We were, the, we were second, but not, yeah. not the first one. But let's, let's talk about the cocktail We'll first. talk about the yeah, cocktail. Yeah. So this is a beer cocktail. So, so Adrian, I, I when I asked Adrian... Full disclosure is an old friend of mine, and I, I was like, "Let's let's do the show, whatever." And we got to come up with a drink. And lately, we've been letting the guests pick the drink because apparently the guests are people now. <laughs> and this is what you came up with. Was well, this beer I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a beer snob, mm-hmm. and uh, I love Hefeweizen. That's mm-hmm. that's totally my jam. A nice, you know, German style. Wheat, wheat beer, beer. Re- actually a Bavarian style, yeah. really. Mm-hmm. Um, and but I know that you guys are all about the cocktails, mm-hmm. so I was like, oh, geez, you know, me and vodka are 
unfortunately. Vodka was the last one left, but yeah. vodka and I are now no, no you're, longer you're friends. done? You broke up with vodka? Yeah, well, you know, it's 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 a complicated Not relationship. Not even vodka with privileges. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could still do vodka here and there. I will... You know, I'm not. Uh, it's I'm, in the I'm friend not, zone. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. You know, it's not like completely out of my life. But um, but in general, beer. You know, I I work in nightlife. Yeah, yeah. That's so what I was gonna say. Like, I have a I have a vested interest in maintaining and being a professional drunk. Mm -hmm. And the one Fair thing enough. about beer, Welcome beer's beer. never done me wrong. So yeah. mm -hmm. I'm sorry that I inflicted a beer cocktail. I'm, I'm enjoying. No, 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 I'm enjoying this. Actually. Sorry. No. Yeah. I no, okay. no. was ready. Yep. I'm gonna. Just come out right now and say this is actually fucking awesome. It's yeah. um, okay, it smells so you wanna, it smells bad. Yeah, I mean, let's look. I'm just gonna say it, it tastes fantastic. It smells and tastes like a bitch drink. It is a little right. Bit. It okay, a little, it's got that little that little hefeweizen -y rankness to it though. That's what yes. it is. It's it is a little rankness. Well, going a little on. dank. I am me, detecting the vinegar. There is vinegar. There's vinegar in it too. That's so what it is. Let me tell everybody what's in this. What the hell's um, in this, Eric? Um, nothing but sadness and compromise. That's what no. I'm <laughs> what is it does in taste this? like compromise. Yeah. It does taste like compromise. <laughs> and, and full disclosure too, like. We didn't know you just Googled this and never had it. Adrian. <laughs> so I, we were talking to Thurm. Like, should we do this? Is this going to be horrible? And Thurm's like, well, we should make the guest I'm happy. Post I mean, on the, in the show it. notes, I'm going to post the yeah. text conversation <laughs> between me and Eric over this drink when I had to sell this drink to him. I was like, I read it because here's what's in it. Okay, so if you're making like a, a big pitcher, it's like a punch. You make a big pitcher full of eight eight servings. What you put in it is one and a quarter cups of apple jack, one and a quarter cups of fresh lemon juice, three quarters of a cup of pure maple syrup. So far you're fine. Yeah, this, the maple syrup. The maple syrup you start to, to turn go, the corner. Huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then six tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Hmm. Huh. Four cups chilled Hefeweizen beer. Hefeweizen. Mm. Hefeweizen. And then uh, three quarters of a cup of club soda and eight lemon wedges. So it's like beer and vinegar and maple syrup and lemon and apple. This jack is like the master cleanse. <laughs> some beer in it. It's, it's a bit of a shandy, really. Is what it, it is. is. And, and you know what? It's a That's it's a I'm real doing. summertime drink. I was just gonna say it's yeah, very. Yeah, I mean, this drink. is this is sitting on the porch in mm -hmm. you know. It's definitely a day drink. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this yeah. is a day drink yeah. all yeah. day. And if you've got a pool or yeah or a porch or perhaps a uh, a back lawn, I wanted. I was so ready. Mm -hmm. To spend this entire show bitching about this fucking drink, and now Sorry. I can't do it. Like it's enjoyable. I'm fucked. I gotta yeah. come up with something else. Well, now. and it's true. It was like I know that um, there are lots of beer cocktails. Mm -hmm. I usually just drink, I had drink never... my Weizen straight up. Yeah. But then you were like cocktails, and yeah, we were sitting there yeah. texting about yeah. it. Yeah. We'll point out. Here, get in there. What we got sent was a list of like nine different ones, half of which were just like, no, not a chance. Oh yeah, no. The one that was just like uh, hefeweizen and banana juice, and that was it. Yep. Yeah. No. And I was like, nope, no, right no, off the list. No. That doesn't even exist no. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, so. half of the stuff on the list, yeah, half the stuff on the list that you sent look like something that somebody would do like on a Sunday morning at a frat house where they're like, they've got this left. Yeah, right. And, and I like, can't all stop left drinking. left in the back of the yeah. fridge. We got vermouth mm. and I got vermouth and 99, and 99 <laughs> bananas. And I think half a keg of uh, Heineken. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's hot though. Yeah, it's, it's been hot sitting out Heineken. in the front yard and it's half floating in like a kid's bath, uh, like a kiddie pool. <laughs> so I actually did do some research on this motherfucker. Uh, first I'm of all, amazed that there's that there's anything to it research. It turns up in a lot of different uh, uh, beer blogs. Apparently, this was uh, actually was created by somebody who took a name for it. It was uh, the Sidewalker. No was disputed created. origin story. It was created by Antonio Sidewalker at the Sidey Crack <laughs> Bar in uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. West Palm Beach again. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm making that up. We Apparently, gotta go there. The Sidewalker. <laughs> no, we don't. No, <laughs> Sidewalker was made like by a break? guy named Damon Bulte, uh, who's uh, from uh, works at Brooklyn's Prime Meats Restaurant, a restaurant in Brooklyn called Prime Meats, which apparently specializes in like 19th I feel like century of that place. meats. Let me guess. Yeah. Prime meats. Prime meats. That's what they specialize oh, in. I didn't check. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll look Yeah, that it's up. actually all secondary meat, but yeah. they're trying to upsell. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the restaurant. All meats. about the marketing. Yeah. It's venison here. That's not a prime meat. That's a tertiary yeah. meat at best. <laughs> prime meats. <laughs> Slight, <laughs> slightly oh, irregular. Oh, I would go to that restaurant. Yeah, prime meats. I would go to prime meats, prime meats, in which like, prime all, prime all your <laughs> meat is served by like apes and monkeys mm -hmm. and chimpanzees. Well, I told you about my Amazon idea. No. Amazon Primate? Yes. Yes, I told you about Amazon. Yes, this you is did. my idea. Like, fuck the drones. I want to get, like, 
monkeys that fucking deliver your Amazon packages. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't pay the extra hundred bucks a year oh, you for that. Bet. Absolutely. Just that a fucking chip a, comes banging on the door. Take the day off work for Does, that. No, and he got a hat on. Yeah. He's got a hat on. That's it. Maybe a diaper. Do you have a little vest? A little vest, maybe? <laughs> maybe. maybe. Okay. If it's a supervisor. <laughs> Supervisors get a vest. If he's a supervisor or higher. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the white glove. <laughs> Treatment. Amazon <laughs> primate. Something put else a vest I, have, on I have learned. Something else I've learned about reading about beer cocktails is that uh, people who write about beer cocktails are kind of annoying. Uh, so mm. this is from theleschef.com. The Lush what Chef? Theleschef.com. Oh, chef. But when I saw this cocktail recipe come through my inbox via guilt taste, I couldn't wait to make it. That is a huge sentence. Say that again. When I, when I saw this cocktail <laughs> recipe come through my inbox via guilt taste. Don't know. There you go. I couldn't wait to make <laughs> it's it. It's a picture. That's, that's just always one of the, the weakest ways to open a paragraph. When this yeah. happened, I couldn't wait to do this other thing well, with no, it. Well, no, they that come through my matters. inbox line. Come through my inbox. Yeah. It came straight <laughs> through my inbox. Honey, you came through my inbox. Yeah. I don't know how that even works. I told you to come through the outbox. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, the sidewalker made by Damon Not Bozier in from the Brooklyn outbox. Yep. We've had this conversation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So many elements of fall. Apple brandy, maple syrup, beer. Good any time of year. It, it's a very summary drink, by the way. It's funny. Yeah, I don't, yeah, think, it's, I don't think it's a fall, fall drink yeah. at all. No. I mean, maple yeah. syrup, maybe, but I, yeah. no. It's yeah. all the lemon and the yeah. apples. Yeah. This you is don't a drink lemons summer. in yeah. fall. Yeah. 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 I wasn't sure how all the ingredients were going to come together. Already there's tension in this person's life, but I'm always willing to experiment, <laughs> which I know I bet is not true. The person with is not really Not experimenting with shit. No, no. She, <laughs> not, uh, she, you only come in her inbox. That's all I'm saying. Um, there's been a resurgence uh, of shrubs, she said, vinegar or shrubs. And a shrub is a combination of vinegar, a fruit, and sugar, which apparently some restaurants also in Brooklyn are serving you as like an aperitif. It also seems like that's a type of person in like some sexual subset. Uh, oh, yeah. Like a gimp. Shrub. Oh, yeah, who gets to be shrub. the shrub this yeah. week? It's among, like, among people who fetishize trees, the right. shrubs are the shrubs. people who, Somebody's you know. a shrub. Yeah, they're the ones who don't shave. The flavor reminded me of a sour beer and American Trilogy... What does that mean? I don't know. You're right. And, this person is totally full yeah. of shit. And I are they slurp- drinking the same thing we are? I don't know. I don't think so. And I slurped this down with sushi while we <laughs> caught the first couple hours of Ken Burns Prohibition. Who cares? <laughs> wow. <laughs> can you, can you, uh, uh, why are you, you telling can you, me this? I don't know. I don't want to hear about you no one has had, anything. No one has had sex with this woman in five years. <laughs> I bet she's that's got the, a husband. That's, yeah, yeah, and he doesn't. Somebody has not had sex I with this woman. I slurped this thing. down with yeah. sushi. It came in the with inbox sushi. line. Like the amount of innuendo. And unnecessary yeah. information in this just reeks of sexual Slurping frustration. Slurping it down with sushi. Um, so that's that's from the, the Les Chef, which you should visit, by the way, because, I don't know, maybe she's lonely. Uh, and now from craft on, craftsondraft.com, where we got the cocktail recipe from, says, I am convinced that 2015 will be the year of the beer cocktails. Turns out he was fucking wrong. He was wrong. <laughs> 2000 what? 15, <laughs> two years yeah. ago. Hey, yeah. hey, and I was convinced hey, Trump uh, could never be president. Okay? Came and went, and I didn't know shit about beer cocktails come 2016. You didn't know shit yeah, about so. beer cocktails 45 minutes no, ago. No, until right now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, follow the logic here. It seems like such a natural combination. Why bother using boring soda for a mixer when you can instead use a delicious craft beer? Because no one wants to drink gin and Pabst. That's, <laughs> that's, that's why. Up. That's why. That's why. And even a even a four year old. No one wants this. Charlie in the box. <laughs> exactly. You're writing for a thing. You should be on top of this. <laughs> oh. As someone that is also a huge liquor fan, the beer cocktail makes me very happy. So you can see the level of. Uh, journalism that's going on here, and we shouldn't really make fun of just online no, people talking it, about booze. It is a different. They do it to you because that's us. Oh, they would do it to me, wouldn't yeah. they? Fuck oh, these sure they people. would. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, Hefeweizen. For those of you who don't know, is a wheat beer, wheat wheat beer. unfiltered, wheat beer. unfiltered beer. wheat beer, uh, originated in Germany. And I'm also, a, not a big fan of it myself, but in this context, it's good. I was about to yeah. say the same thing. I'm yeah. typically. Not I don't. A big I don't see. I don't think a, a non Hefeweizen beer would work yeah. for this. No. Uh, apparently, so it was uh, uh, Pacific Northwest, like Portland, uh, I guess, is when American half of Eisen sort of started. Yeah, Pyramid. Uh, yes, Pyramid. Yeah, pyramid. Was, yeah, in the 90s, I believe, they, they started. To, um, th- that was like the first uh, mainstream mm. American brewery to bring yeah. back half of Uh So anyway, the, apparently half of Eisen goes back as far as 1040 A.D. in Germany. Jesus, really? Yeah. Because Feels the Germans like this are might have been drunk the, people. They are drunk people. 
Uh, in fact, side note. Okay, so <laughs> this is true. So you know when like the plagues were like like ravaging this earth, like in the early parts of the mm-hmm. of the last uh, millennium. We do seem to get back to that a lot. Yeah, a lot of the mm-hmm. plagues ravaging the earth. Well, there is a yeah. You know, now that I think about it, we did the amount of times we referenced the plague yeah. on this show leads me to believe that, that like that's when people started really drinking. With a sense of urgency, nihilistic <laughs> urgency. No. Get this down. Well, then. didn't they stop drinking water? Yes. Yes. Well, they, exactly. Yes. You know, because was, water, what carried cholera? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, they yeah, were yeah. drinking their own carried urine all the feces. disease. Yeah. So, so in yeah in Germany in particular, they said, hey, if we ferment where this, they if we still make beer, drink their own urine and right, we don't have to worry about getting a disease. They did figure out that water makes you sick, beer doesn't make you sick. Yeah. So, so apparently, though, later. in China, they later. figured out that boiling water makes it safe, which right. is why they uh, got fixated on tea. Ah. But not the Germans. The Germans decided we're just going to get we're fucking loaded. Yeah. 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 And which is why you raised they are probably sturdy people, aren't centuries they? of alcohol. They survived their own worst ideas and now they run the free world. <laughs> terrible ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Which explains a lot about Germans. If you think about it, for centuries, they've just been one generation after another of horrible alcohol. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, beating their kids and like, you know, uh, you know what? I, dis- I disagree. I disagree. Yeah. Um, having spent a lot of time in Germany. He's, this one bought a condo in Germany. Like, you're about two more trips away from wearing sandals with socks. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 uh, wait, where, where were we going with this? I knocked you off with the sandals and socks. Like, that put fear in you. Like, uh, oh, uh, am I really? No, um, okay. So they start drinking. Yeah, in, in in Germany, like at fourteen, is right. the, like you know yeah. you can legally drink right. at at fourteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I believe in your home, I'm not sure what the exact laws are, but it's uh, because you start drinking early, you kind of like have a little bit more respect for booze mm-hmm. as opposed to oh my god, I just turned twenty one, now I can really get wasted. I'm you know, take out, it's yeah. like the, you've been already by the time you hit twenty one, you've already been. You know, drinking for eight, 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 eight Like, or, and if uh, you've ever partied in Berlin, seven years, yeah. they binge drink, but binge drinking in Germany isn't about plowing through a million beers in six hours. It's about plowing through a million beers over four fucking days. Yeah. You, you know? pace yourself. Yeah. 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 You pace yourself. From Thursday through Monday, basically. <laughs> because this is the thing: there are um, there are people who fly into Berlin, mm-hmm. um, like they don't even book a hotel room. They will go to a club, like say Bearkind or Kit Kat or any of these other clubs, and and, um, yes. and they basically can just stay there all the way through Monday. Monday. The clubs never close. No. The clubs do not close. The the, the like bars Vegas. do not shut <laughs> shut off. Just Drunk an though. unsettling, completely don't know what time it is. We can drink around the clock, possibly forever vibe. Oh. So the one last thing you should know about Hefeweizen before I stop wasting your time <laughs> is that apparently German Hefeweizen is uses a different yeast than American Hefeweizen. And the German Hefeweizen, they say the yeast tastes more banana-y. And a little okay. more uh, taste of banana and spices for some reason. All right. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I don't enough. know. This is what I read. And we know the quality of the journalism surrounding this issue. So all I'm saying is, it's you probably say, true. I love Hefeweizen. Don't say that to a German or he'll just going to, yeah, you don't fucking know Hefeweizen. But he'll say it in a German accent. The, it's actually, uh, actually a, a typical German probably won't give a shit. It's the Bavarians you need to worry about yeah. with, with Hefeweizen. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's They're like, like the, that's like they're, 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 they're like national the, drink, Bavari- you know? the Bavarians are kind of like our rednecks. Um ish. Uh, if you start getting out there, like if you had to get the equivalent of their country people, because that's what it is. It causes all the fucking problems. It's, it's like the little village that you grew up in, it's the hill, and it's you don't the really, hill folk. and you don't need to, you don't need to leave town, and yep. then you, you know, you, so marry, like your, you marry your high school sweetheart, and then you okay. get a nice solid job. It's whatever you know, the fucking German and, equivalent of a John Cougar yeah. Mellencamp song yeah, is. <laughs> so. Yeah, I would, I would say that's very, that's somewhat, uh, that's uh, that's. Bavarian stereotype yeah. is, uh, would not be that far off the yeah. mark. Well, we'll be back right after this break to talk about more Bavarian stereotypes. And, all of and them. about and the and, and trans and all sorts of good stuff. So listen to we're talk, our We're going to talk trans stuff. Yeah, we're going to talk trans. Trans talk. John Cougar trans Mellencamp. <laughs> there you, there's your YouTube show. And Bavarian and gun no. racks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Are you drinking America's best brewed premium beer? Once, all quality beers were brewed with only the purest water and an expensive old world way of brewing called croisoning. But today, only one major premium beer is still brewed this way. Only one, not Miller. 
not Stroh's, not Coors, not even Budweiser. Only Heilemann's old style beer is still brewed with pure artesian spring water and fully croisoned. Old style, America's best brewed premium beer. Hey everybody, we'd like to thank everyone who donates on our Patreon page. That's patreon.com slash army of drunks. Those people are the good people. Those people are going to heaven. Those people will get big piles of gold under their Christmas tree delivered by Santa himself. If you're not one of those people, hey, maybe you'd like to be. Go to patreon.com slash army of drunks. That's patreon.com slash army of drunks and donate a dollar. Just one dollar. What are you going to do with that anyway? You don't know. Wipe your nose on it? You don't even know. So donate it to us. You don't even have to give us a real dollar. We got credit cards for that. That's patreon.com slash army of drunks. Patreon.com slash army of drunks. Hey, you'll be glad you did. We'll be gladder. Yeah, all right, now it's all about the Army of Drunks, season three. We are just getting started. Hey, we're back. And hey. we're back. We're just getting, um, our, um, getting our beverages refreshed here. By the way, while we were going, our tiny up. audience did inform me, uh, as a beer aficionado, that the reason um, the German yeast tastes different in the Hefeweizen is because it's floxidated. The yeast in the Hefeweizen is floxidated. It doesn't and it, sound like a real word. I know. And it causes esters. What See, is now that? it sounds like it's like the vapors, but worse. Oh. Esters. The esters apparently are what taste of banana. <laughs> oh, and they were my upstairs neighbors when I was a kid. Yeah, by the way, the esters first were the album was... the lesbian couple that lived upstairs. Yeah. The Esther's first album was Taste of Banana. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just what, 92, yeah. 93? Yeah, they really, yeah. yeah that was they before got they sh- sold out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I liked that album. I liked it a lot. I mean, the follow up was bullshit. Sure, sure, so, yeah. anyway, uh, Adrian, hi. Hi. Blue. Um, we what? have so many uncomfortable questions for you. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> So is it fair to describe you as a trans woman? I mean, yeah, I, I would say that a trans person trans really would person. probably be more fair. Okay, but um, but I present feminine, so mm. uh, I have no issues with uh, trans girl, trans woman, whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, trans. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I used to, I used to, you know, just identify as tranny. I mean, I would, you know, I I remember in the mid '90s at. Uh, Gay Pride in San Francisco wearing a pink dress that said Revolution Tranny Style Now. And then somehow over the course of 15, 20 years, that term of empowerment got taken away from me by my own people. <laughs> Bitches. Who, who, like, I was riding in the streets, you know. <laughs> Is it for, the T for, word for, now? For, for trans rights, and now it's it's the T word, and you can't say. Do they say, call it the T word? You can't say, say tranny. You can't it's say, it is, I know. It, it, I was is considered, it is considered a slur. It's like the opposite of queer, which was a slur that got taken, and the, that, that got empowered. Yeah, queer empowerment got word. empowered, and, and I, I kind of hope tranny comes back. But I will say this. I think it's I up kn- to you. I think I know why, um, and, and this is a... This is a fair argument. Okay, so I would say that MTFs, uh, male to female, female. uh, probably don't have an issue with the term tranny because it sounds cute, it's feminine, it's Mm -hmm. um, a RuPaul's Drag Race. A lot of the queens Mm -hmm. on RuPaul's Drag Race use the term tranny. Mm -hmm. There was a legendary drag club in San Francisco that started in 1996 called Tranny Shack. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) So, um, you know, for for MTFs, that was fine. Mm -hmm. It was the... um, it was the FTMs who had a problem with it, I think. <laughs> you know? and, and understandable. Let's yeah. face it. You're, you're, uh, you know, female assigned at birth. You feel like a man. You want to be. You want to identify as, as male. And then you're called a tranny. Yeah. And it sounds all cute and like. Do you like? It's, I'm not a tranny. You know. Yeah. And so I, yeah. I get it. You know. Okay. So trans is definitely oh. the more politically correct. The more, uh, and it's a term that applies to all transgender mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just. It sucks a little bit because I know well, myself and, and people like Justin Vivian Bond. We loved the term tranny, but now we can't use it. Do you uh. think like the the F to M is it, like what do you suppose that number is like to it, it, ratio wise? Because like I have met plenty of trans people that were male to female. I don't. I know significantly less to zero. The other way. How often do you hang out in lesbian circles? More, not as much as I used to. Yeah, not I mean, as much as I, I mean, used to. That might to. have something to do with it. Yeah. Um, I do think because that there I, are, I do think there are probably more um, uh, MTFs than because I know lots of I know lots of lesbians there, there, who were very butch. There are reasons, and really? the reasons are 
the surgeries and the uh, you know the all of the it's easier the, to subtract than it is to add. Uh, <laughs> well, as an FTM, you're still subtracting mm-hmm. mastectomies. Yeah, but bottom surgery is yeah. definitely not what it what it is for bottom tra- surgery for was the women. Esther's first record, by the way. Oh, that was- <laughs> <laughs> but um, but also um, I think there are more. FTMs than you think, mm-hmm. um, and they blend in better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because here's the difference. I okay, get, you know, so I take the back. Now I do know a couple. Yeah, I know you, a couple. Know a couple. I, I have Facebook friends with yeah, more and than you, a few. Here's the deal. So um, if you're transitioning to a female or feminine, uh, you take estrogen. Estrogen, unfortunately, it, it softens things. It, it, it uh, does lots of things, but it does not. As you can tell by my voice, it doesn't affect your voice. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't affect uh, facial hair or body hair. Meanwhile, the FTMs, they got it made. They take testosterone. Immediately, their voice starts right. dropping. It's like they hit puberty, and their voice <laughs> lowers. It goes into a lower register, so it enables many of them to, like, Pass better. Mm-hmm. Um, not that passing is necessarily important. Well, do you but think? Do you think? Do you think some of it might be too that there is when in in going across that road that the idea of becoming going from feminine to masculine is less flamboyant. Oh yeah, absolutely. Than going the other way. Yeah, I think. I, mean, I think it, it to, feels to me like if you're if if you know. And, and by flamboyant, do you mean extroverted? Sort of. Yes, yeah, like more. Well, think There's about it. Less, if we're gonna, if like, we're, I'm just like plumage. Yeah, you know? I mean, well, here's the other thing too. They also taking testosterone makes you grow facial hair. Mm-hmm. You can grow facial hair, mm-hmm. so so you can blend in a little bit better, I think. And um, be and, to, to, and to, to to get to what you're saying as far as like flamboyance and stuff. There's definitely a long tradition of drag queens and, and right. that kind of thing. So uh, and femininity stereotypical. Femininity mm-hmm. is, you know, makeup and hair and clothes and fashion. And men, it's all about like drab and like, you know, I'm, right. I'm going to wearing the gray, the gray flannel suit, shirts. Just a flannel yeah. shirt. And it's like, so it's a lot. I mean, just if you take gender stereotypes, men are less flamboyant than right. women. Right. I think yeah. I, I want to get... back up. I want to, can we get a, a little bit of your history before we get too deep in it? Like, how did you, at what point in your life did you know you might be trans? I've actually been thinking you... about this quite a bit because I've, gone i've been all over the spectrum but um i've actually thought of something just recently so i'm going to take it way back mm-hmm. when i was a kid what toys did i play with what toys you're did you asking play with? us no legos. I'm, I'm gonna give you the answer but <laughs> i don't um, know what toys would you think i would play I, with legos but, um, uh yeah, Barbies. every kid plays with legos but yeah. i played mm-hmm. there were I my, still my, play with my legos. two favorite toys were hot wheels cars right um you know the little metal race right. cars mm-hmm. and my sister's barbie dolls mm-hmm. And I think that that's why I am like I am firmly transgender. We can use the term non-binary. I will get into my issues with that term later. But um, but so I was like, oh, okay. I'm I've always been this sort of like fluid, uh, f- fluid. I mean, somewhere in the middle, you know. And so uh, I always knew that I was different. Um, I do remember as a kid, kind of sometimes wishing it was like every now and then it'd pop in my head. Oh, I wish I was a girl so I could. Do Have the girl things and, and not be, not no, be, I'm sorry. you know, but at the same time, um, you know, I was also, you know, there were some boy things I liked too. Um, as I got into high school, the bands that I liked, Duran Duran and, um, you know, Culture Club and, you know, it's like guys in makeup. So mm-hmm. it was like, oh, okay. I, but I, he's I, also I a Rush fan. And I, I, I also, but I also <laughs> like Rush. Yeah. <laughs> you know. yeah. Right. right. I can't so, remember wow. exactly what point I outed you as a Rush yeah, fan. Okay. Or whatever. You know, so, yeah. Somehow it became a, a little anybody. cooler to admit you're a Rush fan. Yeah. In the it's getting there. Years, like, it's but. still like admitting. It's still, you got to come out of the closet. Right. With that you know, shit. it's like what being a Star Trek fan was 20 years ago. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's you're so, not just duty, but nerdy. Yeah. Yeah. And and then going into into college, I definitely cultivated a very androgynous appearance and then when i moved to san francisco mm-hmm. it was like you know pandora's box yeah. opening and so you didn't uh, didn't cross dress or anything um and- i crossed i i wore 
Uh, I definitely have. Goff uh, gave everybody yeah. like a lot of gray exactly. area. I mean, there was definitely, yeah. you know, guy liner before it was called guy liner. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, well, hold, hold on. What is guy liner? Is that just what a man is? Guy liner. It's, it's just, you know, it's, it's like. It's eyeliner and a dude. Yeah. But exactly. it, okay. But it's not specifically. No, uh, it's not, it's like not strong sp- enough for a man, but no. made for a woman. It's not that. <laughs> okay. Just curious yeah. if there was an actual product I could go. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's the tagline to his penis. <laughs> yeah. Strong enough for a man. When his penis was doing advertising. Yeah. I got so much. Uh, my my Which, by the way, if your penis up. did take out ads, that would be fucking would great be in some good. markets. Yeah, <laughs> my penis strong enough for a man. Yeah, but right at, right after college, I moved to San Francisco, yeah. and that was like you know. So you grew doors up doors and windows opening. You grew up in o, in Ohio. In Ohio, in fairly in Virginia. You know, um, oh, oh, did most of my growing up in Ohio, and San Francisco obviously was like, oh my god, I can just I could just wear whatever the hell I want, dress however I want, and it was a slippery slope. And <laughs> and then in the um, in the late nineties, I actually uh, decided to transition. Um, and uh, to you know, female. And mm. what happened was, uh, they gave me all the hormones, and uh, and I did all the therapy, and I got mm. all the doctors, you know, everything you needed to do back then. And it was interesting. And I discovered that it's not. I mean, so gender. Did you have second thoughts halfway through the? No, pro- not really. It's just more like. A- Gender therapies changed a lot in mm-hmm. the past 20 years. And back then, it was a little bit less understood. And it was like, oh, you uh, were uh, born born male, which, by the way, is now no longer. You don't say that. You say what assigned you say? male at birth. Assigned. Yes. Be, by yeah, by yeah. the uterus? Because you weren't born male. Your gender is actually in your head. It's not the genitalia you're you're, you're uh, born with. So, so what do you, what's the term for genitalia? A sign? Genitalia. That's that. Those you. They're still those called genitalia. Sexual, what? No, it's sex <laughs> organs. They're not called booblie bits. That's sex organs. Yeah. Sex that's organs. Not gender. Sex and gender are two different things. Oh, got it. Sex and gender are two okay. different things. So Whoa. anyway, uh, so that's, assigned I'm, male I'm at birth. I'm taking notes. But anyway, so yeah. back then, if you were assigned male at birth, they give you all the female hormones, and it was sort of one size fits all. This is what you want. Bam, take it. And um, and it was. Uh, I was on hormones for uh, like almost a year, year and a half, and it things didn't quite feel right. And I kept trying to change my dosage, which they don't like you to do. At least at that time, they didn't. And uh, and I just kind of like my body was crazy. I was right. emotional. I was like cry over cat food commercials. I got <laughs> fat. Um, God, I want to see pictures of that. <laughs> no, I don't, oh, I'm not really. There are no pictures of that, are it's so sad. there? Are and no, that's um, all the stereotypes of like... I mean, I, mean I definitely understood the differences uh, between men and women a lot better. Um, oh, yeah. You know, definitely, yeah. uh, you know, those, those emotions are definitely, you know, they're real, but they're also, you know, it's it's all hormones. Hormone, it's a hell of a drug. <laughs> um, so I I eventually um, I went off of them to kind of get myself back to a base level, and and then just weirdly never went back on them. And part of that was just um, I, I think the relationship I was in at the time kind of influenced that, um, but also. I was um, I, I was in a rock band at the time, and if I'm truly honest with myself, I think I was probably like I don't think the world's ready for a transgender rock singer, and being a rock. Boy, star did was, you turn out to be wrong. Know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but hey, but this was the late '90s, yeah, uh, early 2000s, and mm-hmm. so um, you um, know what's funny? What? Just to interrupt. So when I was like probably 10, 12, 13, somewhere in there, like before I had like a. F- Full on grip of what gay was. Yeah. My first understanding of gay was Freddie Mercury and Rob Halford. Wow. And so yeah. in my head, being gay just You're meant that you were an awesome fucking yeah. singer. Like, yeah, I understood <laughs> that it was I love dudes. But to me, singer. like the concept of gayness was never something I associated as being like this, like femme or weak or a fet thing. It was always like you front an awesome fucking rock band, and you're so <laughs> fucking cool. Like, although, although I will say this, um, if we're gonna go into gay stereotypes, um, yes, really fucking awesome rock band with a very theatrical flair. Right. <laughs> I, I gotta say, what I grew up with in terms of like understanding gayness in the '80s, this was this was the messages I got. My mother would say things like. Just because Richard Simmons talks that way, you shouldn't assume he's gay. That's prejudiced. 
This was back when. <laughs> this was back when fucking. <laughs> we're nice, yeah, Mom. Yeah. Housewives. Yes, this is when housewives were still trying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The housewives of that era were still trying to convince themselves that like all those people weren't gay. Liberace. Like Liberace village people aren't gay. Village yeah. people, people aren't gay. Liberace they're isn't gay. Flew right over our heads. Yeah. It's like it's Richard like a, Simmons isn't gay. Uh, like yeah. they're look. It's like they're all in costume. There's My an son Indian. isn't there's gay. A, there's a guy. There's a Navy guy. Look, it's like what what an exotic collection of costumes these people have. But, what, um, what village are they from again? What village? <laughs> Apparently, I'm related to one of them. Which one? The uh, Indian? The cowboy. Oh, dude. Apparently, I think the... somebody is like, he's like a distant cousin or wait, something. No, no, no. Huh. Wait a minute. Wait, yeah. you're dropping this now? You're related wait, yeah. to the cowboy from the village people? Just yeah, sneaking that right in. People. We can do a whole show on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's as much as I know of it. I, okay. I, all right. So uh, to, to bring it back to yeah. To you. So so um, I, I guess my my transgender journey has been a journey. Second Esther's it, record, by the way. Uh, yeah. Transgender journey. <laughs> and not to be confused with "Don't Stop Believing" journey. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, um, so it's uh, but things have changed. Um, the 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 culture now around uh, around transgender issues is so much more evolved. Um, it used to be like, you know, like I said, when I first started transitioning, it was pretty much just assumed it's like you're going to start. The, it was, you know, you're on. It this turns path. out there's a lot of nuance to trans. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. It was like it was a, uh, you know, it's here, no here's wonder your, it's the last thing we got to. Yeah, it's now it's like you can fit on a spectrum a lot more easily, and it's understood, mm-hmm. and you're not going to have other trans people give you shade uh, to bring it into a drag queen term about like, oh, you're not a real trans person because it, you aren't going to get bottom surgery yeah. or you're uh, or, or you're on too low a dosage of hormones. Yeah. You're just pretending. It does or, for, feel, or things like that. It does you know? feel it, like even to like a, a passing person, uh, no pun intended, the, it, the trans issues tend to be, and the whole trans topic is a very granular thing. Like, it seems from every direction, like, it does require a level of real hair splitting well, in some ways. Well, and it's a little bit too much hair splitting, and, it, it, and it's getting more and more, and, and which, le- which makes it obvious, like, this is why we didn't lead with this. In, like, the gay revolution, yeah. in terms of, like, selling gay to straight people, it makes sense that we're finishing up with this. Like, you don't lead <laughs> well, with this. Well, you know, this. I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, when you can LGBT, T is the last letter in Right. That, so. Well, they threw a Q what? on there now. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. Thank yeah. God. Uh, what, um, so, I don't know what that means. Yeah, what, what was the moment for you when you were, like, on the female hormones and yeah. decided that maybe I don't want to go full on? What'd well, you no, do? I, oh. I, I, um, uh, well, it was actually th- there was no real like light bulb moment. It was yeah. just like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop taking them for three months mm-hmm. and kind of like then get back on them. And then I just sort of never went back on them again. And it's kind of funny because everyone, of course, you make a big deal about like, hey, I started HRT, hormone replacement therapy, and um, and now uh, everyone knows about it. And then I went off of it, but you don't tell anyone you went off of it. <laughs> Six months after I was off of it, people are like, you look really great. You just the hormones are really working for you. And I'm like. I've been off of them mm. for, <laughs> just don't for tell six anybody. months. But, um, but it was one of those things where it kind of gave me the confidence to just sort of like be myself. And back then it was before the term non-binary. It was before the term genderqueer. Right, I, th- yeah. There weren't words for it. I was right. just like... That's what I'm I mean like, when I say like the gran- like the level of granular in this that is is super emergent. Like we weren't having this level of discussion three years ago. Yeah, I had a hard time th- telling people like exactly what I was. I was like, well, I'm transgender. It's like, but th- then you had to explain that because then it's mm-hmm. like, oh, so you're going to like, get, you know, right. get straight all the people, surgeries straight and people in a dick off. Yeah. Straight people in the red state can understand butt fucking, yeah. you know, like they can, okay. Yeah. You do fuck guys. Okay. That's, yeah. I get it. But, you know, g- but gender fluidity, I mean, I would, uh, that the, the, is the, a the, more the, nuanced thing. The, 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 the term I always used back then was I'm a gender morph. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, I'm a, I'm a mix of both yeah. genders. And if you, you know, you draw a line between male and female and, you know, our, our society wants to, you know, buy into this binary and, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm okay. I understand the binary. It's, you know, I, I do mashups for a living mm-hmm. two songs, you know, <laughs> like the, mm-hmm. I get like, two I, you things. know, what's that's funny. A, that's I've never simple... drew that connection before. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's our little NPR metaphor yeah. for the show. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, mashups. Uh, you're a mashup <laughs> of gender. You know, uh, it, so if it makes you feel better, it did take you almost 30 minutes to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Bootymashup.com. Thank you. Uh, anyway, um, it's, it's an easy concept to understand male, female, but, um, but there's a there's a broad spectrum in between that, mm-hmm. and that even 
gender a gender ther- transgender therapy was not getting 20 years ago mm-hmm. you know it was like oh you're transgender bam here's your you're on the path to go all the way to the other side and i was okay kind of like being in the middle i mean definitely more on the on the female spectrum mm-hmm. um feminine spectrum but i'm kind of okay with many aspects of of the male side as mm-hmm. well How- so, so anyway, now it's years later and we've got gender queer and gender fluid and all these terms and right. like what you say, the splitting hairs. And that was like, it was like, oh my God, there's finally language for this. There's, right. there's, a, there's a, the millennial culture like understands this. It's blown up like literally in the past five years. Right. It's like, oh my God, society finally caught up with me. Mm-hmm. Well, Shit, I'm on board. I've been on board yeah. with this. So when <laughs> you're a late yeah. adapter to your own thing, yeah. well, yeah. I was just like, I was just busy living my life and right. doing shit, and <laughs> quietly, this has all been yeah. like coming up. And That's like I didn't yeah. know I had a dad bot until recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like this is a thing. Yeah, this yeah. is a thing. This is cool. <laughs> I'm already here. I thought I just right. fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> I got to. Well, let me ask you this. Hold well, on. Let me, let me, yeah. Let me do this one real quick because I want like while we're close. If we were still, like, kind of a boreal, pre-civilized people, like, before... If you take clothing and makeup and hormones out of it, how does trans manifest itself in the absence of those things? A uh, Lots of ways. Um, I mean, because you can... Well, first of all, um, uh, full disclosure, I'm back on HRT. Um, Looks great on you. Well, it's only, <laughs> been, never it's it's only been a few. It's only been like a few months. So right. uh, who who knows where I'm gonna? Are end you still up with crying this. at cat food commercials? No, actually. Would you like was, to? That was one of my directions. Shit, I wish we knew this. We could I have know. done a game show <laughs> for later. No, was, actually, you know what would have been funny is if we could. Is it fast acting? If we crushed and snorted some of this stuff, did you think one of us would it cry at a cat food commercial? Way. No, I mean, because um, uh, that would have been our whole C segment right there. <laughs> like we I mean, just rail out hormone therapy be drugs and watch a bunch of commercials and see who breaks down crying first. <laughs> well, this is this is kind of a funny story. I just got uh, new health insurance recently mm-hmm. and I found out uh, Kaiser, I'll give them a plug. They yeah, have a, they have a, the a gender pathways program. And I'm like, Kaiser. wait, this this is what? Like this never used Kaiser to Kaiser is what um, what uh, socialized medicine America would look like. Yeah, yeah I mean, this is much. the closest yeah, yeah, yeah. thing no, you can get to right. what single payer would we look have some, like. We have some country. good friends of the show who, uh, who, yeah. who, who work yeah, there. So I was, so to bring so up, I was shocked. Oh, yeah. to bring up, you were talking about how what does gender look like without without the accoutrements, without the oh. hair and the makeup. Yeah, well, I mean, so so that yeah. so that, that's where you bring in things like yeah. like hormone therapy, um, mm-hmm. you get, uh, surgeries. Uh, but take all that away. Like, if we're still, like, pre-civilized. Pre-civilization. Right. Like, do, uh, were there trans people? Absolutely. Um, Native Americans had two-spirit people. Right. There's lots of, uh, lots of um, uh, Southeastern Asian cultures also mm-hmm. have, um, uh, you know, it's not, it's the equivalent of what Native right. Americans called two-spirit people. Right. I don't know what the actual term was. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was, um, you Because know, it seems like it would be harder. Like, again, you know, we are at this point now where we, we're all unpacking and parsing this as a culture yeah and so much of that does seem to depend on we need a certain degree of signaling yeah you know mm-hmm. like dress and again like the, the the hormone therapy for example is a perfect example of within that like i need to put an exclamation point on this like this way that i am this feeling that i am is so subtle but it does seem like the need to amplify it a little bit i don't know like i imagine that's yeah I mean, both an internal for yourself I, and for other I'm, people i'm i don't I don't know. I mean, I've I've been lucky in that I've been fairly androgynous all my life. Right. I've got like almost no body hair. I've always had fairly feminine features. I'm mm-hmm. small, so uh, like I think someone like me, if you strip away all that stuff, I still sort of seem like a two spirit person right. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I always feel bad for uh, other trans people that maybe like they feel like the uh, the opposite gender of what most people would assume that they mm-hmm. are based on their body type and the way they look. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, I, but it's, again, we come down to gender versus sex. Mm-hmm. Uh, your sex may be one thing, but your gender may be another. And gender is mental. It's what's in your head. It's mm-hmm. what you feel. Um, and that's, mm-hmm. that's a difficult construct for a lot of people to wrap their heads around. And but. it seems too, like there's a, what also a difficult construct is the way that a lot of us, cling to one side or the other mm-hmm. we're born with it. but to be we like the, binaries they're yeah. easy mm-hmm. but to be in the middle and to be that and like you say non-binary to be that yeah sort of i mean it's like a very let me, let me, individual gonna, and very liberating yeah. place i'm gonna um i'm gonna just 
throw this out there right now. Let me get the get this out of the way. I kind of hate the term non-binary. Yes. Um, okay. And 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 let's, what says let's why? Let's unpack that. I will. I will. I will <laughs> tell you why. Uh, first of all, I think just the term itself is negative. I mean, there's a no right there in non. the name. Non. Non. You know. And um, I always preferred the term transgender as better. I think trans is short for so many things. Transcendent. Tra- you know. Transitioning. It's transam. Like the, yeah. Trans- yeah. <laughs> um, among I'm, the transformers, are you an Autobot or a Decepticon? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Exactly. Decepticon. See? Yeah. Actually, no. More of an Autobot. <laughs> no, I'm not, definitely not a Decepticon. Not fooling well, anybody. Well, 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 you ain't well, fooling well, anybody. What you see is what you get. I've never been a pass queen. Yeah. I mean, I'm always, no. I'm always happy when I when I do pass, but it's definitely not necessarily <laughs> a priority. That's what I mean where I'm... And I think most non-binary people um, who identify as non-binary mm-hmm. are... They're, they're not concerned about, like, looking like one gender or the other. Um, I, I present feminine, mm-hmm. and but if you clock me, like, you know, straight dudes love to do this. It's like, hey... Dude, and the definitely mm. the more pejorative term of dude, not the like, hey dude, yeah. um, not Ed's, the inclusive dude, <laughs> yeah, more yeah, the, not, the exclusive not the, not, dude, not yeah. the gender neutral dude, but yeah. the I clocked you, I can tell you're your male kind of, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. it's like no, you're you're actually wrong, but. You know, whatever, dude. Dude, whatever, um, dude. Yeah. Um, whatever, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but non-binary is just a, it's it, it's kind of an awkward, clunky term. But it's the term that apparently- Is that more the, clunky than they? They? Oh, God, no. They, yeah. is, they is even clunkier. Yeah. However, there's a historical precedent with the pronoun yeah, they. And, yes. Yeah. And there are corners in of grammar where they works in the singular form. But it ain't all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it ain't all of them. It's. And, I wish there was a good alternate term. Right. I've, I've just had to. I used to. This is a recent thing for me too. Where I used to not give a shit about pronouns. Mm-hmm. I don't care. He, she, they, just right. whatever. But no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with they. I'm um, really? here's the thing. And if yeah, you what do you, you want they, to be called? They. I prefer they. Okay. However, I understand it's clunky. Yeah. So she will do as a yeah. nice alternate. And if uh, you can't deal with she and you want to refer to me as he, you might get some serious side eye. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's, so here's like wait, we've known each other fifteen. Yeah, years I, was, now, I was doing the math. Fifteen, 15 years. years. Yeah, we're aging fifteen years. Here. We've been yeah since we were in kindergarten. Yes. Yeah, since, yeah, <laughs> since the eighth grade. Wow. But I, he knew even then. You know, like I'm now sensitive. To this I def- like for the narrow amount of times where I actually pick a pronoun, I land on he. And they know it's a thing for you now. So now I have to like retrain your retrain. brain. But, but that's, and that's the thing. I don't mind that. I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those pronoun Nazis. I right. get it. I understand this is difficult. And so I always just gently remind people, mm-hmm. are they, please. Like they, I've been having there. to consciously you know, yeah. try and, and do that. The more, the-, the more it happens, the more it becomes. Um, the more because like the pronoun thing is a fairly new thing. It's you. very new. This and, is like I think but, I remember you coming out with the pronoun thing, which is actually a bigger deal to me. <laughs> than, than well, you've did. always <laughs> known I'm, I'm like trans, right? But, but no. now, but it's like, oh god, now, now it's on you. Now yeah. you have. Now to do I got to do some fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just remind them. I'm not a bitch about it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not like. Well, I, I, I don't. I, I, I'm realizing it's it's part of a, a of a. A society conversation. You're asking that's people to reprogramming. Right yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, and this is which how is these not, things start. I yeah. mean, you know, you know, look, society mutates and changes. Uh, you know, black people used to be slaves. You know, uh, um, wow, that women couldn't vote. That escalated in I mean, a hurry. <laughs> maybe, no, I mean, just like, but, but these are these are mm-hmm. all civil rights issues. Right. Okay. Yeah. This is these are we're dealing with human beings mm-hmm. that where some people right. like had rights and and things that other people didn't and mm-hmm. now it's like but we've evolved as a society it's like and language has changed w- w- along with that so mm-hmm. whatever i'm on board you what do you what? think you of the, what, what do you think of the biggest rights issues facing trans people is it beyond just the language is it uh, things uh, let's just into let's law just talk it? about bathrooms uh, yeah, no, yeah, i mean so, you know that's that's, that's that's i mean it's it's funny because it's uh, you know the bathroom thing's a very personal thing that every transgender person goes through. Which, by the way, here at the drunk studio, we have a, um, a totally gender neutral gender bathroom. Neutral bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. On purpose. <laughs> On purpose. Because we don't have the money for more than one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> but um, it's, and it's, it's funny. It's just something that like it was never really talked about. Nobody talked about it. And then all of a sudden it sort of exploded 
uh, is like national news where it's like that's that's the flashpoint. That is yeah. like the mm-hmm. bathroom issue is the transgender person stoned, stoned to the trans world. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say so much. <laughs> it is, you know, because because that's like a real world thing. That was like, oh, oh crap, we need to deal with this, you mm-hmm. know. And uh, and which the funny thing is, trans people have been using the the. the the other bathroom for all this time, and it's so funny. Like I, I there was, uh, if you, you, you want this person in, in your bathroom, yeah, it's like this person, yeah. is born, like the thing that's born the, female, but they're like totally butch, right? With a, with a beard. What's and everything. that one? Like, shit. Is that person supposed to be in the women's room? Yeah. No, what's of the ones? Not. The uh, it's a it's a female to male. A, Points a very big bald cigar, like really butch looking, yeah. like looks like a bouncer. Yeah, you know. And he, you know, is still like still female parts downstairs. Yeah, well, the the the, the whole bottom surgery thing, and that's also one of those things that everyone wants to know. We're going to yeah, talk about I mean, bottom surgery. Gotta, is, that's the second show. Is bottom surgery. <laughs> I'm I'm using trans terms for you. Yeah, but it's know. basically a gender confirmation surgery, yep. or also known as SRS, sexual gender reassignment assignment. surgery. It's but um, changing your but it's one of those things. I like confirmation. You, I like, well, it, that's I just I, I just got schooled on that recently, and I was like, uh-huh. oh, um, again, it's one of those things where it's like sexual reassignment where. It's like oh, again, like the same way um, has a negative being, connotation. Exactly, to it. and also implies that you were not born this way; that you were choosing it. Whereas right. gender confirmation surgery is, uh, I always felt I was cisgender, and it. now or, I'm yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. I yeah. Thought, God, it really is a language thing. Yeah, you know what? I, thought, I, so I thought it was confirmation. Yeah. Like which one? I, and you look in your pants, like oh, I have confirmation now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and That's gotta, what that was. Yeah. <laughs> we got to wrap the segment up All in right. a couple in a couple minutes. And so if, if Eric ever asked for a second opinion. Yeah. Just, just say is no. Is this a penis? <laughs> just say no. Can is you, this a penis? Hey, can you confirm? <laughs> hey, can you confirm something me? for me? No, seriously, Mad mother Excuse fucking me. Hey, job. Do you mind coming over? Is this a? Hey, this I'm, looks like a penis to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get a but second opinion on maybe this. Maybe it's wrong. not. <laughs> I, I mean. <laughs> Sir, yeah, anyway. please, please, please take um, your items and move out of the check stand. <laughs> <laughs> I just want some gum and a National Enquirer yeah. and to know if this looks like a penis Keep to you. Keep moving, buddy. That, yeah. Not for seven Side seventy-five note, way, an hour, you piece of shit. Keep I just moving. want to point out, anyone who, st- who has a penis at any point has the power to ruin everything. That's true. By just... <laughs> Taking it out yeah. in any situation, no matter where you are, hey, you can ru- well, no one needs to see a penis. There are certain Dicks situations. Dicks ruin everything. It's yeah. true. <laughs> you're at a wedding. True. Say you're at a wedding. Say okay. you're at a wedding. Not, wedding yeah. reception. They're giving the toast. Stand up, unzip your fly, and just <laughs> casually. Even although, if you're already, you know what, though, I will say something out. here. Yeah, that's a very heteronormative thing to say. It yeah. is in certain um, in was, certain circles. Yep. Um, I think doing that would probably not. Produce the results that you're describing. I, you know, uh, Where you're are right. those you're places? I think it would right. be. I would think it would be probably would say, something more positive and for joyous celebration. Ninety-five percent of situations. It's like a, like it's a wedding in somewhere in Southeast Asia. That's like the thing. Like it's not. You're not officially married until the father of the bride pulls <laughs> his song out, drops, out. His, and <laughs> drops his dick in the. In the you in, guys need to hang out at more gay bars. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's probably something very. Phallus affirmative about that. Yes, yeah, yeah. phallus affirmative. You 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 might ch- you might sit, be singing a different tune. I, mean, I, like, you know, I whipped out my penis and suddenly everyone was buying me drinks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. You can't pull Whoa. your dick out at a gay bar. You can totally pull your dick out at a gay bar. Nobody gives. God yeah. bless a gay bar. So um, one last thing I want to I want to talk about. That is the only place up. it's fine to have a penis. What, what? gay? The gay, gay bar. bar. Oh yeah, a <laughs> gay bar. The only pl- no uh, men's locker rooms. It's fine to have one. You can't call attention to it, yeah. but um, it's fine. No, everyone, yeah, you see the old man just with their balls hanging to their <laughs> knees. Nobody cares. Oh, hey, the guy's got a penis. Whatever. And gay bars, it's celebrated. Oh. You know, hey, penis, woohoo! Go figure. So, yeah, go figure. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Gay so, bars are a penis yeah. positive yeah. environment. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, we, we talked about this briefly earlier, where uh, like where did the whole not legally non-binary thing uh, mm-hmm. uh, start? And I mean, this is so, oh yeah, let's, let's button us up. Yeah. So so yeah, to button up the, the the section, um, so you're number fourteen. 
you drafted. I, I, you drafted in the first round. I, I did not even know I was number fourteen. I had to do a lot of backwards math to, yeah. come, to come up with that number. But but number one was a person in Oregon mm -hmm. who uh, petitioned a court to change their legally change their gender to mm -hmm. non-binary. Which you know, so are you, you, you issued can, a new birth certificate? Here's how it works. Okay, okay break this explain. down. All right, for folks so, at home that would like to try this. Yeah. Um, so uh, of course you can you can petition a court to legally change your gender from male to female or female to male. Right. That's already been established. Right. There are protocols for that. Right. So this uh, uh, this person this happened uh, last year. Um, like less than eight months ago, um, they legally changed their gender to non-binary, and then it was like the floodgates started opening. And then there was a uh, a person in Santa Cruz who did it, and uh, a few other people in the state of California. And as far as I so know, so for Oregon, they only all... got one person in. No, we I, I, more I, no there, there's I think there's another person yeah. in Oregon who's so there's two, but the other did. there's okay. now two, and then, then the so other, there's like twenty. Okay, yeah, as well, long know, as we California. have more of them, fuck oh, yeah, Oregon. we definitely have more. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so, um, I petitioned the court. I had to literally write it on the, there's, you know, there's a standard, uh, document that you have. You to, didn't just you do know. this like on the back of a flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did have to hand write in a little box and, and write in non-binary because right. mm -hmm. they're, you know, they don't have a form for that right. yet. And I did right. need oh, to, they will. the same way you, uh, need to, if you're, uh, petitioning a court to change your right. gender legally, you have to have a, basically a doctor's uh, mm -hmm. letter. So my doctor was like, oh yeah, no problem on that. Um, um, like I said, Kaiser is amazing. They've yeah. got a whole they mm. they got the whole transgender thing down. I, but anyway, um, so my doctor got the letter, you know, went to the courthouse, did all the paperwork. That's it so cost badass. like you know four hundred dollars in legal fees Was, or whatever. So it's but, like a, a, only a little bit cheaper than changing your name. Yeah, by like a yeah. hundred bucks. Uh, no, actually, it's exactly. Did you have to take a thing out in the paper? <laughs> no, I didn't. know. you do that for a name. I know, I did. Yeah, that's really. Yeah. So what is your driver's, driver's license? license. That's what I'm about license. to get to because that's kind of like the critical thing. Yeah, yeah, I've got a sheet of paper that says I'm legally non-binary. Mm -hmm. Big fucking deal. Um, that that it's a big literally deal. means nothing right now at this point. However, uh, right now there is a bill uh, going through the California state uh, state government. Um, hopefully it'll get passed. Um, I want to see if you remember year. the number. Do you remember S the number? It's, it's SB 179. Yes. <laughs> Dude, and, um, I watched him look this up right yeah, before the yeah. show. And I was going to see if three drinks in, he could still remember it. I totally get it. <laughs> Anybody else in this room would have forgotten. <laughs> you would have been totally forgiven yeah. for having forgotten anyway, it five SB, minutes after we yes. mocked you for forgetting it. SB 179 will allow one to uh, uh, will allow you to have a third gender marker option uh, at, for the DMV for California IDs, which okay. is of course through you don't the you don't happen DMV. to know whose who's bill that is, do you? Uh, I believe Mark Leno was Ooh. one of the sponsors. Okay, so yeah. look yeah. that up, everybody, yeah. and throw money at that guy. Yeah, it's um. Yep. So so hopefully what'll happen? I mean, this is great for me. I mm -hmm. I travel a lot. Um, and it's always a little bit of a disconnect. I'm going through airport security, and mm -hmm. I always feel weird. It's like currently there's an M on my driver's license, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you know d you know depending on you know <laughs> how long of a flight it's been, you know, you know right. uh, uh, I don't, I never know like what kind of gender I'm reading as. I uh, and it, I always feel yeah. Like the longer you're on weird. that plane, the less <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. it starts coming apart. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. It's like you know. Have a, I, got, I t probably need another two years of electrolysis, right. and then I'll be all right. <laughs> but, um, but F, I mean, I could if I, all, I, all I would have to do is get a doctor's letter to say I want to mm -hmm. change it to an F, and they'd probably be totally down with that because I. Pr or present, you can get a high school kid to forge his idea, yeah, <laughs> something. But I always, I, but I feel that that's a little disingenuous too. I, I'm, I'm pretty like you know, I'm, I'm okay being transgender. Mm -hmm. So I would love for there to be a T for transgender. Is that what Although, the designation is well, going to be? Well, no, actually what's going to happen because non-binary is right. the legal precedent of, mm -hmm. that That term is the one that is... An other um, sounds it a might be, weird. And, well, I do know in, in um, Australia and New Zealand, this this is already a thing, mm -hmm. and they use an X as the third gender marker. Okay. Um, Ontario just recently, literally like uh, within the past like week 20, or two. 20, 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. you know, almost. Well, this is yeah. all like right now. X is uh, shorthand they, they, for they, trans. They, they, they or straight edge. X, X on there uh, yeah. as, a, as a third gender marker. I know yeah. in... The, Everybody at the Minor Threat uh, show <laughs> was transgender I'm, now. I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm kind of into the X. Yeah. Like I wanted a yeah. T. I don't want an N. N just is like... Uh, uh, no, X put you in there. But the thing is... X on my driver's license. But it puts you in cahoots with the straight edge kids and they're all D-bags. Yeah. All right. Until the day comes when you can put an X on your 
your driver's license. I just want you to know we are all 100% in support of you. Oh, well, also, you. we are also 100% I'm at the like end of the segment. I'm like 98. At the end of the segment. So we will be right back we'll be. Uh, uh, with the Army of Drunks Talking yeah, we're Funny gonna Podcast do, uh, We're going to do some dumb game show probably. We're going to do some dumb game show okay. because we'll that's, how, and that's, then that's what we do. Tune in uh, for the – we're going we're gonna to circle back. We have the second show yes. with Adrian, and then we're going to unpack pronouns. Yes. Unpack your pronouns. Show. Unpack your adjectives. And bottom surgery. Yeah, you're, you're, pronouns you're, and bottom surgery. Yeah. That was going to be rough for you. You've been calling me he this whole thing. No, I know. Like yes. I said, I, yeah. it's so hard to. Yeah. Yeah. And the booze isn't helping. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm just going to start kicking you every time you do say that. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you it. Know. Like I, I don't know. Like I, 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 I'm on your teeth. Like I want it. <laughs> we will be right back. All right. Ish. All right. Ish. Ish. Like a light bubbly wine, very special for quiet times, party times, every time. Pink champagne, very special. Come and share that pink champagne experience with me. A flavored malt liquor from Iroquois Brands. Just a friendly reminder: Patreon.com/slash Army of Drunks. That's Patreon.com/slash Army of Drunks. That's what? Patreon.com/slash what? Slash Army of what? Drunks. Give us a dollar. Or don't. But if you do, you'll feel real good inside. Okay, back to the show. I know, just sticky and coated. Sticky and coated. Uh, sticky and coated. Third, that was the third Esther's record. Yeah, sticky was the third Esther's Sti- record. Yeah, that was where they really fell apart. <laughs> Honestly, overproduced. Overproduced. Did, didn't need the horn section. No. Like uh, just it's a it's kind of a betrayal of what the esters were about. Oh, hello. That fucking yeah. that fucking theremin was a terrible idea. It was the producer's fault. Well, and we're back. Hello. Oh, we're back. Hey everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping up this show with the uh, Sidewalker cocktail, which is shockingly good. Yeah. Shock- um, a little bit too my, sweet. I, we're rolling back to just beer. I'm rolling yeah, back to just beer. Yeah, cuz we plowed through anyway, all of it. Apparently well, we did. because it's got some fucking- people did not Buy enough lemons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. we yeah. didn't know it was a lemon party. I think it was the Applejack. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. uh, okay. Just, just, just so you know, if it's if it's Hefeweizen, you need lemons. Yeah. It's, it's that's like just sort of part of it all. No, I, I get it. Are those the, two but it's a very, yeah. it's a what? very. Pacific I didn't realize. Request. Oh yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, um, Is Germans that an American, get angry at Germans lemons, put the lemons. No, oh. Germans do not do lemons. Oh, do they? Um, actually, that depends. Really? But yeah. It feels to me like the Germans would be pious enough to not put fruit in their beer. You are probably right about because those. I re- decadent I, Berliners, I'm sure do, but yeah, yeah. So okay, we're gonna wrap this up. Is, the, is you is would too? Bell down there. It's not the worst idea they've entertained. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love having the Germans in this world now that that war is way behind us. Because so far, we have a high watermark can... for human depravity yeah. that we can all just gauge everything. And the else irony by. is now. The Germany is the center of the reasonable world. All right, we're gonna. We're, this is a this is C segment, and I, I, I know I shouldn't pretend like C-section. I just want to get this over with. But so hey, when we. First heard about the idea of a Hefeweizen cocktail from Adrian here. Um, I went and I looked up how many there were. The answer, I'm not telling, but there are more than just the Sidewalker. And so as a little little game show here, a little quiz, I'm going to give you the name oh, this is good. of a Hefeweizen cocktail. And you have to decide if it's an if actual it's a one or a real Hefeweizen cocktail oh. or something I made up. So, oh. true or, so it's a true or false? True or false? Real this is or a real, real drink thing. versus not is a real, it real drink? drink, or is it, is it, is it no, something okay. you can find on Google, or is it something that I pulled out of my proverbial ass? Okay. Are you ready? Is, no. is everyone have access to the bell? We right. do. Okay, and here we go. Number one, the dirty flower. The dirty flower. How's this work? You ding it. Real you ding it if you know if it's true or false. Like you okay. ding in. It's like you, you buzz. You in. weren't paying attention. Well, well, <laughs> okay, Adrian, I just did it. It's a binary. Show. I'm gonna say real. <laughs> it is real. That is one point for you. All right, next. <laughs> nice going on the coin toss. <laughs> the hungry heffalump. The hungry heffalump. Ah! Buck down. Oh, false. Oh, you're so right. Get a point. All right. <laughs> Captain's keg. Captain's keg. Captain's keg. 
Matt Shaw. I'm, I'm going to say that's real. That is yeah, real. You want to know what's right. in it? Too bad you don't get to know. No. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nope. Uh, <laughs> look it up. That's a spice, some spice oh. rum, agave, nectar, grapefruit juice, and hefeweizen. Yeah, By the way, and if you give Morgan. a shit, the Dirty Flower mm-hmm. has like a lot of grapefruit and gin and St. Germain and all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, all right. Was... All right. The Punch Your Neighbor. Punch Your Neighbor. Adrian. I'm going to say false. Ah, uh, this is so transparent. Yes, false. Okay. The Harvey Hefebanger. Adrian. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, of course, that's true. Yes, it yeah. is. This was, a Harvey this was actually oh. this on was a, the this list. This was a contender. Yes, this was totally a contender on the list. <laughs> All right, the Cincinnati lunchbox. The Cincinnati lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> Buck down. I want it to be true. I want that. I want it, it is to be true. Oh, is, is it really a real thing? I thought that we were going to segue into what's in the name that sex act. No, out of it. it's a it's a bottle of hefeweizen, some orange juice, some amaretto liqueur, uh, and maraschino cherry and orange for garnish. Yeah, it's basically hefeweizen, orange juice, and some amaretto. Why it's called the Cincinnati, Cincinnati. lunchbox? That's a sex act. It should be way That's yes. A, yeah, it should yeah be like way anyone more in Cincinnati drinks that. Nobody yeah. in Cincinnati. Nobody in Cincinnati. No one, no one in Cincinnati yeah. ever. Eat it for lunch. Yeah. All right. And much less at lunch. <laughs> Blitzenschlager. The Blitzenschlager. Yes. I really hope that's true. No. I'm no. sorry. No, there is no such thing as the Blitzenschlager. <laughs> that's that's, hey, that's half the fun of this game. Is this stuff you, like, I have rung the bell on this for things. And just like, you know what? I'll fucking lose Blitzen. the point to go to bat yeah, to make just, this I real. Like, let's make this happen. Make what, Blitzenschlager what, what's, happen. What's Schlager? Because I was, I was about to say that's lightning. Oh, do you want to know what Schlager is? I was about to say that was lightning sausage, but that would be <laughs> that would be bl- that would be blitz blitzwurst. <laughs> Schlager is a genre of music. Oh, no shit. Okay. Yes. Is it really? Yes. I uh, did so, not see that coming. Yep. Um, you did oh. not see that coming? Not. Uh, ah! <laughs> uh, Good night, okay, everybody. So, and on that note, uh, Berlin Sunrise. The Berlin Sunrise. <laughs> Each, any one of these could be a sex act, too. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, Adrian? I'm saying no on that one. No, you're right. Yeah, there because no they do not thing. drink Hefeweizen in Berlin. That's right. No. <laughs> okay, the Sergeant Schultz. <laughs> oh, but I want it to be true. No, it's no, not. It's not. No. It to be true. No, no. Sorry. We need to make a Sergeant Schultz cocktail. All right. The papers, please. Papers, please. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. These, you're not even like trying All anymore. Right, this right, is right, so right. fake. <laughs> the Occupied Poland. The Occupied Poland cocktail. <laughs> occupied Poland. You know, Someone Germany ring in. has a rich history that isn't all oh. mired in those really <laughs> horrible, like, you know, 10 years. <laughs> Matt Shaw. You know, it isn't all about, it isn't all about Nazi Germany or the fact that I know three German words. And I can pack them into, Lightning this? sausages, this the two Hogan? of them. No, no the this was the, Poland. the Occupied Poland. The Annex A of... Um, I'd like it to be one. No, it's false. Uh, it is false. Okay. Crystal knocked worse. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Hitler's ball. Okay, you guys are driving me crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to skip Hitler's ball. It's Crystal knocked worse. Come on. Crystal yeah. knocked worse. All right. <laughs> this is so culturally insane. It totally is. Dude, this is totally so this is ragging on the Germans. No, culturally this is how bad every one of these shows gets. Okay, like, also, also, we do the way, best we can. Look, look, you can make fun of Bavarians all you want, yeah. but I draw the line at Germans. Oh, okay. okay, fair <laughs> enough. I, all right, all right, all right. The Scheisehosen. Scheisehosen. <laughs> Those you are two of the three it. German words I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm realizing there are way more false answers here because there's only so many Hefeweizen cocktails. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and it was probably way more fun coming up with the fake mm. names. Well, I don't know why you would say that. I don't know why you would say that. Yeah. Thanks uh, that for is false. Bru- like, taking the highbrow out Sorry. of this show. <laughs> <laughs> See, the funny thing is, like, we try so fucking hard. Like, we try so hard to keep this, like, legit and highbrow and, like, we we can hold it together for like bits and pieces at a time, <laughs> but eventually and it fucking all goes it comes to out. shit. It, it yeah, all by the third drink, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, and the final, you got the more final one. The last one, Banana Heisen. No, uh, we talked about that earlier. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. It is real. Really <laughs> banana Heisen's real. Yeah, I love how you said it too. It's like know, really just all it is is Hefeweizen and banana. Oh, you mean real. the most boring name? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. real. Because no, because all this. your fake names are way yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, if if you went to a bar and up on the top above the bar in a big sign, maybe artfully decorated, punch your neighbor. A, punch I would say only order a punch. Yeah. Shiza Hosen, five dollars. Oh, <laughs> Happy hour. <laughs> no. uh, you you go for the Shiza oh, yeah, Hosen. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, on ladies, principle alone. So anyway, the winner, not surprisingly, is Adrian. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, what do I win? 
Do I actually win anything? You get an army of drunks win, flask. Yeah, you win an army of drunks flasks. You would have gotten anyway. Oh. So yeah. yeah, you win a thing. That See, you- <laughs> up until you said that, it would have been novel. Yeah, it does. it's a nice flask. Yeah, it's you win an nice army of drunks flask. flask that you would not have gotten anyway. We would have pretended we didn't have. Yeah, one. we were just gonna give another one to Therm. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and yeah, gentlemen, when the guest sucks. We just give the fucking <laughs> flask to Therm. You <laughs> should see the pile of shit Therm has at his house from yeah. this show. I think he's eBaying all of it. Mm. Is he? Oh well. So. You know, keeps the place tidy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening against your better judgment to the Army of Junks Talking Funny podcast, Brew Ha Ha. Um, we want to thank uh, Buck Down. We want to thank Adrian Roberts, who has been our guest. And Adrian will be back for a roundtable discussion uh, either next week or several weeks from now. We yeah, depending on how we yet. roll these out. Like, here's the thing. A better run show would have known this in advance. Yeah, but you know we're a consensus assured, driven but that's show. That's not what you're listening. Keep your to. audience guessing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No, you don't know what's oh, coming next week. P- please, they're drunk shut ends. <laughs> but hey, all of you, we still love you. Mm-hmm. Um, we know. Come on some back. Of- Here, the second show, we're going to talk about pronouns. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about bottom surgery, and what? that's pronoun slash bottom yeah. surgery pronouns, is bottom our surgery. pronouns <laughs> bottom surgery and feelings and, and feelings. 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 We'll see you then. Yep, we'll Yay. see you then. Adrian, do you have anything you don't? Are you you want anything? You oh, you promote? got stuff to pitch. You, you want to promote? What do you oh, want? Yeah, Where's your trouble. website? Where oh, you want? You, you, you can go full promosexual now. Oh my god, yes! Let it out. Let it out. You'll do it again at the end of next show. Okay, so obviously we dealt with a lot of trans transgender issues on the show and if you want even more and you want to see my pretty ugly face uh, you can Shut find up. me on uh, on YouTube just look up Adrian A. Roberts and I just started a YouTube channel where I'm uh, I'm showing all sorts of things and uh, also Booty Mashup is the party that I do in San Francisco, LA, Seattle, every Rio, other city every, on the like, civilized well, earth that he it. wants to travel to. They, they, <laughs> they. Sorry, <laughs> I'm working on it. It's, can we call anyway, you? Teaser. Can we call you Lieutenant? <laughs> <No>. Lieutenant. <laughs> uh, actually, I kind of like. I'm, I'm kind of. Um, Kind of partial to Mam Sir. Mam Sir. Mam Sir. Mam-sir. Yes. Uh, so Booty your website. Com. What you, Booty, Booty, uh, they, uh, Booty Mashup.com. B O O T I E. Actually, I think if you spell the it world's wrong, best uh, mashup party. It's the, it's it really a, is. It's a mashup party. Uh, it's a, if you like. Uh, if you want to hear twice as many songs in half the time, um, that's a good. And who line. does it, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen? You have been listening to the Army Are of Drunks talking, talking funny, funny radio podcast. Brew, ha, ha. And remember, from hell's heart, we, we stab, stab at thee. From hell's heart, we stab at thee. <laughs> <laughs> stab all right, all right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. This has been another Army of Drunks Talking Funny podcast experience. Remember, we're on the internets at armyofdrunks.net. You can email us at drunkmail at armyofdrunks.net. Uh, look for us on Facebook. We're there, and we've got that Patreon thing. Give us money or don't. We still love you. Copyright 2017, Army of Drunks. <laughs>